All right, we're gonna do a video here of the Step IR. I've been working on it for about three and a half days now. Of course, the day's not over, so not before. Anyway, this is a Step IR that I bought, uh, used. It was, um, it had been up for 12 years before I got it. And uh, I spent all last summer refurbishing the whole works and redoing things, replacing one of those boxes. Probably could have bought a new one and gotten about the same deal. You notice it's uh, flapping in the wind. That's uh, that's the tilt plate and it's breezy and it's not up in, in place yet. So it'll be interesting. Okay, let me show you the things that, uh, that I did that might be a little different or help people out. Um, uh, I had the thing up, I didn't have a tilt tilt plate at the time, which made it very difficult to work on. And I ran it for about a month before the windy season started. And then we went, um, we left for a few, uh, this is a cabin up in the hills. Um, we left for a few months and within a week, the, um, um, the wind had turned the antenna and basically shredded the, the um, Yesu uh, 1000. So um, I replaced it with a spid. That rotor is <laughs> accurate to within a half a degree. Not that I'm going to be that accurate. But the thing is, it's a worm drive. Uh, there's no brake. There's nothing. Um, it turns or it doesn't. If you turn it off or you unplug the power, there is no brake. It just does. It's like putting a car in gear sitting on a hill. Um, and that's basically what's going on there. It does fit. This is the... Uh, the HTX 555 tower. It does fit, however, it sticks out, okay? Which is a problem. It's not gonna be able to retract all the way. So, I've mounted a pipe across there to keep it from from uh, from going down. So that's uh, that's how that's gonna work. Um, oh, damn, I just, I just realized I forgot the rotor cable when I wrapped all the other cables. So I'll have to do that anyway. Um, so anyway, that's the spit rotor. Worth every nickel um, because I'll tell you what, uh, this is a two inch pipe and on this tower there's a two inch hole. And I had a, um, a thrust bearing in there and getting the thrust bearing lined up along with both, this is mounts on a plate um, this plate here, because it's designed to, to mount on two poles. Um, I think it's designed for telescope work. Anyway, to get this lined up and get this lined up took half a day. That's so that pipe was straight going through that hole. There was no way at all I was ever going to get a thrust bearing to work with it. Now, the question is, well, what would you do with a thrust bearing? I was bad on the, on the rotor. The rotor can handle 700 pounds. Okay, these the, between the um, uh, between the tilt plate and the antenna, we're talking 150. So I, I don't know that this that the spid will even know it's there. Um, so anyway, there's that. Okay, so um, when you have a step IR and a tilt plate, you actually take um, the step IR off of its plate and put it on this one. Okay, so on the back of it, you've got the, the, uh, the original boom. I have the car lock, which what that does, see the, the hook there? When the thing is up in place, that lock will, will hang right about here. If the wind blows and starts tilting it, it'll catch in the hole and it'll keep the antenna from tilting. Okay, so that's, that's what that whole thing is all about. And it's pretty easy to install. That's just put another piece of pipe in there and do your thing. And there's pictures all over the internet on how to do that. So I spent the morning remounting, re uh, taking the old plate off and mounting it on this plate. It definitely has some nice hinges on it. It's not going anywhere. Um, and let's see, and this side is where the control box and everything went and the mount for um, the, the struts to hold the boom hold the boom up. Everything else was pretty much left in place, so it was it was fairly easy to move. It's just those two things uh, 
go on this plate instead of that plate. And when you order it, you tell them what you got, what size you want on uh, pipes, and uh, which antenna you have, and they'll, it'll come with all the holes you need. Well, except that I had to drill two because I didn't have enough brackets that were narrow um, and the holes were in the wrong place. So um, those are some original brackets that worked. Um, so the way the thing is set up here, let's see. The only problem I have, oh, and I added, uh, uh, let me do a, a bad thing and walk under the tower while it's uh, tilted down. I'm sure I'll hear from somebody about that um, or somebody who did it and didn't make it. Um, also, I got a plate here to replace this winch. So when I do have this up, I'll be able to um, uh, crank it up and down with just a button. I wish that it was, I had one of those there. That is a bear right now to crank. This tower is designed for 200 pounds. It has almost 200 pounds on it, pretty much. If you add the spit and, and the, the plate and all, it's probably 175 somewhere in there so yeah just getting it up that high was a chore, chore. one quarter turn at a time now uh, the next plan is to, since i'm not going to have it tilted over that much but i am going to crank it up and down a lot now when we're not here crank it down when a storm comes crank it down um and when i do crank it up I'll probably put it at 45 feet instead of 55 just because it's so much stronger and signal won't make any difference anyway so um so that'll be very, very, very handy. Um, it'll keep me from doing the 166 cranks to get it going. But this winch right here is certainly not the ratio that we want. I mean, it's it's a pain in the ass, really. So I'm gonna be, once this is up and in, in place, I'll be taking um, this off and replacing it with either something motorized or um, something that's like, uh, uh, the ratio is four more t times what this one is. Um, I've read that some people have changed this out with a, don't remember the company name, but this is a 1550 and there the other one's a 2550 or something like that. Anyway, you can, uh, you can crank it with one hand and it takes a lot longer, but, <laughs> but you can crank it with one hand. I have to use my whole body right now. So the weight of that too, by the way, is, uh, I think that's about 80 pounds, but it's pretty close to the base, so I don't think it's adding that much to the weight. Um, certainly not the weight that's way out there. So, done that. Oh, and another thing that we did, um, all new cable in it. We uh, changed out the <coughs> raising cable. They say to do that every five years. It's been 20 years, um, but we're in Arizona, so the old one had no corrosion, um, but one of, the, one of the little things that popped out, one of the things on the wire and it kept jabbing me um, telling me that it needs to change so it's interesting that this is moving so much in the breeze um, I suspect it will do that when it's on the top of the tower too um, at least to a certain extent a car lock will keep it from going too far but that's okay I don't think it'll make any difference in the signal at all and it takes a little stress off of uh, off the whole thing if it gives with the with it, with it so anyway yeah i got some more some more uh, black taping to do over here apparently better do that before it gets up there don't want that so anyway um that's what i got um and uh works pretty well so far oh I, when i had it on the ground basically i had it down laying on that last night i was uh listening to a guy in spain at s9 so this antenna works pretty well even even laying on the ground so anyway all right y'all have fun i'll uh i'll try and remember to put some links um some links of uh what i put on here and where i got them and uh so if you're interested there you go um have a good one oh, there's our view really nice 73